Brian Harson. We'll let Coach make some opening remarks, and then we'll take your questions. Coach? All right, so looking forward to this week, uh, being on the road, playing against Arkansas. Uh, guys showed up on Sunday, did a good job as far as uh, looking at the Georgia game. What did we learn? And then going out there, practicing, and uh, you know, making it, making it a good practice as far as just cleaning things up and then also uh, moving on and getting ready for this week and preparing for. We have an early game against Arkansas. We've got another week to get ourselves better. Uh, we're going to travel, so handling that again. Um, so all those factors that we just have to focus on uh, when it comes to just us being a better football team. And um, no injury updates right now. Um, you know, we had no players of the game uh, from from the Georgia game. But just looking back on it, um, you know, Georgia's a very good team. They've proven that. I've said that before. We knew that going into the game. And, you know, there's opportunities for us to make plays. Um, opportunities for us to, to coach better and to do things that, that we all can improve on. And, and that's what we have to take into this week. You just got to learn and get better. You got to improve on things you know um, that you haven't uh, worked hard enough at or that you still need to uh, perfect. Uh, and so it's just that ongoing process of doing those things. And, um, you know, the, the challenge is, is doing it at a very high level every single day. That's the challenge. Um, and you're going to need to do that in order to continue to be successful, um, especially with the type of teams that we're playing. And as you look at Arkansas, uh, tough, physical, uh, those two things stand out. The coaches do a very good job. Um, you know, they're two points away from being five and one, and uh, they're playing aggressive. And so, you know, those things all stand out. There's a lot of really good players on their team. They've, they've all made plays. Um, Offensively, uh, the quarterback can run it, throw it, can do it all. Uh, they play physical up front. They can run the ball. And you know that's an identity of that team. Defensively, um, a lot of different things. You know, I think uh, Coach Odom does a very good job on that side of the ball. And you can see uh, the variety in the defensive schemes and how they play. And uh, they've been, they face some very good offenses this season as well. And so there's a challenge there. Special teams are solid. Um, and there's opportunities there to make plays, um, and they've created those plays on special teams. So um, all those factors, as you look at Arkansas, uh, you know, in my opinion, uh, they've done a very good job up to this point, and um, you can see that within their team. And you know, for us, it's we got to we got to prepare well, we got to play hard when it's when we get that time and an opportunity to go out and do that. Um, and we got to focus on all the little things that, that we have to continue to keep improving. And, and then just overall as a team, just keep growing, um, keep developing, and, and keep believing in what we're doing and uh, getting guys to, to step up in certain areas, uh, create some competition at some positions, and then you know, have ourselves ready to go again this week against a really good team. So with that, questions? First question is from Brian Matthews. Uh, yes, Brian, is this the week or, or a good week for y'all guys to really get it going in the running game, get tank going, establish it, as, as my buddy Ferg would say? Well, yeah, every single week we've been trying to do that. Yeah, we haven't waited, you know, for the Arkansas week. That wasn't a, a preseason plan. We've been trying to do that every single week. And uh, that's something that I think, you know, most teams want to do. They want to establish the run. We'd like to do that. We'd like to run the football. We've got to be balanced, though. So we still got to be able to throw it and do things on the perimeter, but um, you know it's not just it's not just tank. It's everybody, you know, everybody on the offensive side of the ball that has to be able to do that. Uh, o line, tight ends, wide receivers, uh, running backs. You know, everybody's got a piece of the pie when it comes to the run game, and that continues to be something that we got to focus on, and uh, you know, and and doing the things we know we're capable of doing, but doing them consistently. Mark Murphy. I just want to ask about Landon King. Uh, how's he developing, and what's his potential for the second half of the season? Well, you saw Landon in there a little bit at the end of the game. Um, I think he's got a tremendous upside. Uh, what does that mean? And I, I think that as we move forward in the future and, and his ability to play the game, like he, he's worked really hard. He showed up on scout team, uh, which earned him opportunities to get out there with the offense and, and contribute and be a part of that. And you know, at the end of the day, we're, we're still competing. 
uh, within our team. That, that never ends. That's one thing that you know, we all have to understand as we're competing against our opponents every week. But internally, you know, we're still competing within ourselves and trying to get the best guys on the field. And uh, everybody on this team, I hope, wants to be out there and play. Uh, and so guys that do, they can see opportunities. They can see where they can help. And then it's a matter of finding a role for them um, within what we're doing. You know, offense, defense, special teams, whatever that is. And Landon's a guy that you know, we felt like had somewhat of a role going into that last game. Uh, may have a role moving forward uh, in how we can utilize him. And um, he'll work hard at it. I think he really wants to be out there. I think he's determined to, to get on the field and contribute. And, you know, we obviously need to be better in areas where we can go make plays. And, and that comes back to how we prepare practice and the guys that are, that are doing those things day in and day out are going to have the chances to be on the field and playing for us. Brian Stoltz. Brian, we all saw Bruce Pearl in the front row, uh, shirtless, uh, flexing his muscles before the game and trying to get the uh, crowd pumped up. How does that to have like a high profile coach of another sport kind of help you uh, um, recruit and kind of how much does it mean to have him care about the football team that much? And should we expect to see you shirtless? in the jungle uh, this season for a basketball game? Well, I'll answer the first part. Um, one, I appreciate it. And, and really, you know, Bruce has been, and we talked about it, Bruce is tremendous for uh, just this entire athletic program. And then obviously the football program, we appreciate that he supports us. Um, we support our basketball program, but, we, but there's other head coaches that, that do those things uh, as far as helping with um, everything that we're trying to accomplish here at Auburn. And it's a team effort when it comes to recruiting. You try to get the best players in all sports to come here and be a part of, of Auburn and our athletic program and, and this university. Um, and so I appreciate that. I appreciate his energy. He's always got it. Uh, it's been tremendous. Um, you know, all the other stuff, you know, I mean, that's, uh, you know, an opportunity to enjoy the game. So uh, and I think he did that and certainly brought the energy um, I don't know everything that you're talking about, but um, I'm glad that uh, he's on our side and certainly a part of this program. Michael Giddens. Hey, Coach. Um, in in uh, conjunction with Brian Matthews' uh, question about the run game, you said earlier this season you wanted to be balanced, but that started with being a downhill run-the-ball team. Uh, through two SEC games, you've got 91 passes to 58 runs. How do you get back to running the ball with teams seemingly loading the box and, and kind of daring you to throw? And is that the blueprint you expect uh, Arkansas to take defensively against your offense on Saturday? Yeah, well, yeah, ideally – you want to run the football. Uh, one way to do that is is stop losing early. Uh, that's a way to do that. So don't get behind, and you know stay in a position where you can run the football. Um, you know some of those. You know you just start kind of looking at the end of the game. You got to throw it because you're losing, and so uh, you know we got to keep the ball game closer, so you can run the ball more effectively. Um, uh, you know, we say what we want to do. That that's that's the identity that we're working towards is is being a team that can run the ball, um, that can be physical. Um, yes, we want to be downhill, and all those things. But you know, we have to actually do that. And you know, we've got opportunities to do that. Um, we just are, we're going to have to continue to keep working on it and getting better at it. It doesn't change who we want to be. It doesn't change the the fact that that's uh, a goal of ours. Uh, in the identity of what this offense should look like, um, at the end of the day, we got to do it, and we've got to stay, you know, in the ball game. Um, you know, we get ourselves behind, and you know. Now that being said, it's not it's not all run. It is balance. There's got to be some balance, and that balance in the pass game, um, you know, has got to show up. You, know, you still have to. You don't want to just throw it to throw it. For statistics, you want to throw it so you can complete passes and, and move the ball and get yourself in position where you can get some rhythm on the offensive side. And I think that's what throws do. They give you rhythm. Uh, they give you an opportunity to move the ball. It gets other playmakers on your team involved as well. Um, so you're trying to spread that ball around and give guys opportunities. But the identity of, of running the football, you still want to be a physical team that runs it um, and that allows you to then be able to throw the ball and 
Uh, we got to create plays on the perimeter as well. So at the end of the day, I think that's a little bit skewed uh, when you look at the games that, that you know we're behind, especially in the Georgia game. We felt like we had to throw it a little bit more to get back into it. Um, they're good up front, and you know that didn't obviously work for us. So, uh, but it doesn't change the identity of who we want to be and how and how we want to have balance. Jason Caldwell, Ron, I guess with with at the edge position, um, the down one um, looked like Derek Hall got a little banged up. How how valuable can a guy like Caleb Johnson be? Um, coming in the way he's played the last couple of games, and then I guess especially with Arkansas this week, the uh, more physical running team. Sure. Well, all those guys can, can be uh, contributors and and should be. You know, at the end of the day, Eku is out there playing on the edge as well. we got other guys. Uh, you know, Derek's playing hard on the edge. Uh, that's a key position for us, one that, you know, we have to keep building, uh, which is going to be a key ingredient for our defense now and in the future. And, you know, those guys, you know, there's opportunities for them to step up on the edge and make plays. Uh, that has to happen in practice. So a lot of those things that we do in practice are going to show up in the game. A lot of those players that practice really hard and do things right are going to show up in the game. And, you know, that's an area that, you know, teams that, that we face that will run the football and, and these teams that we play will run the football. Um, you know, you got to have a guy that can set an edge. you got to have a guy that's dynamic uh, and can do some other things um, on that edge. And, you know, we got some guys that can. We're still improving and getting better at some things uh, at that position in particular, but those guys can play, and um, you know if they have good weeks, they stay focused, do the things that they're asked to do. Coach Watts does a really good job with that group, um, and when those guys are on it and they're taking care of their business, um, you know we usually have a pretty good performance by them on game day, and you know expect that we have that this week, especially against a team like Arkansas. That's again another physical team that wants to run it, can run it. Um, and plays hard, and you know we've got to have a guy that can can set the edge and, and help the the front seven on the defensive side from that position. Tom Green. Hey Brian, I think the last two weeks we've seen JJ Piggies in at tight end again on some jumbo sets. Um, is that something that we should expect to continue to see with him mostly focusing on uh, defensive tackle, but still having a little bit of a role in that offensive game? Well, yeah, we utilize. I mean, JJ's a good player. You, know, you want to try to get the best players on the field. Uh, we've also used him on special teams, so he's he's doing quite a bit, playing D line, playing special teams, doing a little offense. Um, I imagine that he'll continue. I don't know how much you know as we move forward, his role is going to play on the offensive side. But you know, a guy that's done it, that's one thing. So there's video evidence of him. Um, still feel like he's really developing himself into a, a D lineman and really good D lineman that coach Eason and has done a good job with him and, and he's, he's getting better up front. Uh, so we're getting a chance to see that. And there's a little sprinkles here and there of him on the offensive side. Um, and then what he's doing on special teams. So we'll see in this game plan. It's a little bit week to week, how we utilize him. But the one thing I would say is you, you got to give him credit because he's able to do all those things. Uh, in all three phases and contribute and be a guy that can start for us in all three phases, which is a credit to him, his ability, and then just how he prepares himself and his football intelligence is is very high. He understands the game, and that's what allows us to be able to do multiple things with him. So we will see what that looks like this week and, and what opportunities he gets on the offensive side. But his focus is on D-line, his focus is on the things he does on special teams and then how we may utilize him on the offensive side depends on, you know, what our game plan is going into this week. Jordan Hill. Brian, you've talked about the importance of finishing drives in the end zone. Just how much is that a point going to be emphasized this week against an Arkansas team that scored 51 on Saturday? Well, again, it's, it's emphasized every week. Um, there are no weeks. Uh, there have been zero practices that we don't emphasize that. Uh, you finish drives to score touchdowns, period. That's what you do. And that's the challenge every time you get the, the football and, and you move the ball. And we, and we can move the ball. Uh, there's opportunities for us to do that. You got to finish. You got to put the ball in the end zone. You got to score touchdowns. Um, you got to have uh, guys make plays in those situations. You got to have great plays, um, calculated. And, and very high execution, uh, very detailed 
on the plays down there. Uh, know they're going to happen fast. The red zone, I mean, the field's condensed and, and things happen quicker down there. So it's just, you know, you practice it, you spend time on it, you emphasize it. Um, you know, we have not undervalued the, the, the finish of drives whatsoever. Um, and, you know, that goes back a lot of years. And that's the most important thing from an offensive standpoint is, is how you finish uh, in the red zone and how you put points on the board. Um, that's our responsibility as an offense, and we've got to do a much better job of that. When you, you want to play in games and you want to be able to run the ball and do all those things, you've got to score touchdowns. Uh, and Arkansas put points up. You know, they put a lot of points up, um, did a very good job. You know, their offense is, they showed to be, again, very explosive um, and can create, you know, touchdowns and, and can put a lot of points on the board. So if you're going to win games, you got to score. So uh, that, that will continue to be an emphasis like it has been every single week. Uh, it has to happen. Um, so practice-wise, it's got to happen in practice. It's got to happen in the games. And, um, you know, we got to find ways to score touchdowns when we're down there and not settle for, for field goals. Um, you'll take points, but we got to find ways to put it in the end zone. Bill Cameron. The Arkansas offensive front's uh, going to be another big challenge for the defensive line. You mentioned J.J., who played the most snaps he's played there on the defensive front. Also saw uh, Marquise Robinson in there, and, and I'm sure you'd like to have uh, as much depth as possible. Just talk about how those young guys played and, and how you feel about the depth there on the defensive front. I think they played good. Um, as far as the depth goes, it uh, needs to be better. I think, you know, we've got guys. We've got to be better um, on the defensive line and be more competitive uh, within that group. You know, O-line and D-line is, is where, you know, you really have to have um, really solid play every day. You gotta have competition uh, on the D-line because you're gonna rotate D-linemen in. You gotta not lose uh, too much when someone comes in. Um, so you still wanna be able to do all the things that your, your schemes are calling for from whoever's in the game from that standpoint, and those are just areas that we have to improve. And I see guys, I see some of the younger players, like you talked about Marquise Robinson, there's a reason he was in there. Uh, he kept showing up in practice, and so he'd earned an opportunity to play. Um, obviously playing against a very good team and having a chance to come out there as a young player, but that's that's part of you know the mentality that we want to have in this program is we want guys competing, we want guys uh, to go out there and earn opportunities to be on the field. And then, you know, we want to see those guys succeed when they do. Uh, and I thought those guys were good. I think they were good. Um, you know, they're, they're playing against a good front. Like you mentioned, Arkansas is going to be uh, very good. And, you know, they're all line And Coach Pittman does a very good job with that group in particular. Um, you see that with his entire team. Like I said, they play physical. Um, I think that's how they coach their players and certainly – feel that on the offensive side, feel it with the offensive linemen. And so the D line, we've got to step our game up. We've got to have a better week of practice. We've got to go out there and play and be physical up front and do our jobs uh, each time, you know, when they're running the ball or throwing it, you know, we have a responsibility and uh, you know, some of those younger players, if they keep stepping up and they keep putting themselves in a position where they can compete and we feel like they're the best players to go out there and play, we're going to have a chance to, to be able to do that. And, to me, that's the exciting part. I think our guys know that. It's, there's opportunities there, and if you get it, uh, take advantage of it. So the reps you get in practice, maximize that. If you really want to play, you're going to take that serious, and you're going to be ready to go, prepared. You're going to know your stuff. So you spent time away from the facility studying and getting yourself ready, and you'll get your opportunity if you're the best player, and you earn that chance to be out there on the field. Last question today, Coach, comes from Justin Hokinson. Hey, Coach. Um, what are you seeing on on the defensive uh, in the defensive secondary in terms of some of the big plays that that continue to happen? Georgia hit a few. Is it communication? Is it just you know putting guys on an island sometimes and, and, it's, and it's a risk? Like, what are you seeing in, in the defense kind of continuing to give up some of those big plays? Well, I think there's a little bit of everything at times, um, but for the most part, I mean, I think we're getting some things. You know, we're getting things communicated. Uh, I think there were some things that, um, and go back, not just necessarily in the Georgia game, but you're talking about the entire year. Um, you know, there's some miscommunication that happens at times, but 
for the most part, I think we've we've communicated well in the back end. Um, when you're talking about wide receivers and DBs and, and plays like that, it just it comes down to winning your one on ones is what it comes down to a lot of times, and you got to be able to cover and and challenge the wide receivers. Uh, guys will make plays. There's going to be times where you know there's a spectacular catch, uh, but if it's contested and you're in a position, you know that's the best we can do from a defensive standpoint. We want to be in the best position. We want to play the ball. We want to we want to get our eyes around. We want to be um, in a position to to knock the ball down or have a chance to pick it. Um, and you know it really comes down to that. It comes down to just. You know your fundamentals, your techniques of playing that position. A lot of times, um, you know, putting our guys in the position. I think we've done that for the most part. You know, but when you get into a one-on-one, that's that's why you spend all that time practicing to to prepare yourself for the one-on-one situation. Zone is different. Um, zone, your eyes are a little different. Your your, your field area uh, that you cover is different than man. And so, a lot of times, it comes down to those those man situations, one-on-one. Opportunities, and you got to get a chance to win it. And so that, that goes back to preparation. It goes back to techniques. It goes back to uh, understanding who you're playing against. Like, what do they do with these players? How do they utilize them? Um, you know, and just do your homework, and then uh, and then having yourself prepared in practice. So those are things, um, and that's probably not all of them, but those are some of the things that, that I've seen that we're going to continue to keep getting better at, and that we're going to focus on and that we need to be ready for every single week when we go out there and play. That's that's kind of football one on one. That you got to be ready for that uh, every time, and you know, put yourself in the best position to to be successful on the play. Coach, appreciate your time today. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you.